Our market research was pretty simple. The customer said yes or no. And uh, when they said yes, we knew we were on the right track. And the, the statistics were very simple. For every four presentations we would make, one person would say yes. So we knew we had to get three no's to find a yes. Well, it didn't always work out in that sequence. Sometimes you get 12 no's before you got a yes. But nevertheless, that was our market research. Every distributor's got to learn those hotlines. And so the company has got to supply them with the hotlines. These are the features. Bing, bing, bing. Let me tell you about that. Bing, bing, bing. And in this research, it's got to make sure it's producing products that have the best or exclusive features. You can't always have an exclusive feature, but then you can talk about the quality of the product, the delivery aspect of the product, the freshness of the product. And you will sell this stuff by accident. Because everybody you know either needs or wants the product you have. It's not like you're selling things that they don't care about. You know, you're not trying to sell them a Rolls Royce. You're trying to sell them a Rolls Royce in the food supplement field. But you're selling them a product that's in their touch and in their range. So anybody you talk to has a potential or a latent interest in what you're talking about. And if you know what you're talking about, they'll listen. Starting at the bottom on Amway is wherever you are today. Everybody starts at the bottom. And there is no advantage to starting 10 years ago as opposed to starting today. In fact, it's better today than it was then. Our products are better, our line is better, our plan is better, it's more proven. It's a better plan today than when we started. And sometimes there are no answers as to whether you want to be in business or would like to be in business. You, you just got to put your toe in the water. You know, If you're going to wait till you know everything, you'll never do anything. And you always say, well, I got to check some more. I'm going to do a little more research. So go ahead, just keep going. And you'll never get into business. You, you're going to go swimming, you got to get wet, you know. And then you find the people who got a hot button for having a business of their own and want to do their own thing and like the chance to build a big business. Well, you got to have that dream. That's why the people talk about having a dream. Well, you got to have a little bit of a dream. And then you say, I'll go out and get customers. You know, I, I got a big chance to build a really big thing. I'm going to go out and get some customers. When you start something new, it's not easy. But life is easier when you got a business and you're making some money. Makes it a little easier. So stick with it. Find our way through it. Just find out an answer. It works, folks. This business works for those who work it. I always say never go full-time until you're making more money in this business than you are in your present job. When you get to that point, then you make a decision. Now, it doesn't mean you, can't, you have to. You can still keep on going. You don't have There's no requirement to be full-time in this business, no matter how big your business is. This company is a successful company. It's, you know, 50 years we've been at this thing. I've been at it for 58 years. We know this business. We've sustained ourselves in this business. And we built the business so that hundreds and thousands of people like us are doing well all over the world. We want to be in business for ourselves. And we had the philosophy that everybody else wanted to be in business for themselves. And if you take surveys today, you'll find that 60, 70 percent of the people in the United States would like to be in business for themselves. But they never get there because you're afraid to jump out and run on their own. So we, saw, we thought we would develop a plan where you don't have to jump out there on your own, where you can keep your job and do this at part time and make a little extra money on the side. But that pattern speaks more to the person who has limited time and can sell a product which is easy to do. They can't go out and start holding meetings and rallying and bring 100 people together because they're still afraid that they don't know how to do this. So, Learn the business by selling some products. Get yourself 10 customers, because getting a customer is the key. There are no obstacles in your way of getting a customer. Get 10 people who will buy your products, and you will set the pace for the rest of your group. And forevermore, when you make a speech, you can say, I have and service 10 customers. That's the foundation on which I started my business.
I want to teach a person right now how to make $100. Get yourself get 10 customers and you'll make at least $100. Okay? When people make money, they don't leave the business, even if it's a small amount. If they can make 100, they could see how they can make 200. If they can make 200, they say, you know, I can make 400. But it all began because they made the first 100. And then what they teach the next 1,000 people is correct. This business, the Amway business, is a business of helping people to build a business of their own that makes them money. Selling a product makes you money. Selling more products makes you more money. Teaching others to sell products and they do so makes you money. Getting other people in your business doesn't make you any money unless they sell something. And that's why in the business people try to say, well, I'll just get somebody to sell rather than go out and sell a product. But if you don't do the product selling side, then you never get enough volume in that first circle. And pretty soon you have a whole zero of low volume circles, and they say, well, I, we don't make any money. Well, of course not. You don't have any business. This guy's got the business. You sponsor him. He's got the business. But you haven't got the business. Until you get the business, his business isn't going to pay off for you. So you have got to learn to do the business by getting some customers. Old theme. Two or three of our top people were first customers. They weren't just sold on making money. They were sold on the company. They were sold on the product. They believed in the product side. And you will find that's your best source long term of distributors. The plan works beautifully. If you work the plan, if you work the Amway plan of getting some customers and teaching other people how to do the same, that's the Amway plan.